Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. It's Nick Snowell here, and we're back with another video. We're back with Nikki Reacts, and for today's video, we're gonna be reacting to Nuke's top five newest release, top five scary ghost videos for nightmares. Let's see. Nuke's top five's top five scary ghost videos are gonna give us nightmares tonight. So if you're watching this right now, be ready for nightmares. All right. And before we get into the video, if you guys haven't yet, please do subscribe, click that bell right next to it, tickle it, make it laugh. And yeah, let's get into watching. The Casper Mountain Crawler. TikTok user Isaiah Harris and his cousin Brock are out on a hiking trip on Casper Mountain in Wyoming. In the middle of the night, as they are crossing a bridge, they start to hear strange groaning noises that seem to be coming from underneath the bridge. Ew. Isaiah pulls out his- Oh my gosh, this reminds me of Goatman's Bridge that I watched uh, with the Sam and Colby channel. Crazy. If you guys haven't watched that, go click it out. Go oh, check it. It's the Sam and Colby Goat Man's Bridge. Phone in starts to record as they go to investigate. What happens next is downright terrifying. Me and my cousin took a bridge. hike in the middle of the night. That means that we're close. And what we found was the most terrifying the thing anymore, I've but... ever witnessed. Okay, and what is that? Dude. Yo. Did you hear that? It sounded like some sort of an animal. You didn't hear that? There's something under there. And then just see a hand crawl up like that. Bro. Crazy. Dude, please don't go down there. He's actually going down there. Oh my gosh. Dude, hold on. Let me go first. Let me go first. Good heavens. Some bizarre pale humanoid shit. <gasps> what in the world was that, dude? <sighs> my heart jumped out of my chest. Brother of all types of brothers. What in the actual is that? I'm just in awe, bro. It looked like a, it looked a skinless creature. It just looked like all muscle. You know what I mean? You know that type. Of, you know that picture of just like all muscle human being. That's what that looks like, but creepier, more creature-like. Oh, Ape can be seen lurking in the darkness of the sewer tunnel. The two hikers just make a run for it. it might just be some crazy I homeless his person. Spooky experience to TikTok, and the video instantly went viral. But many viewers were skeptical about the strange sudden cut at the end of the video. Oh, there was a cut? So, okay, Isaiah we'll posted an update to explain. Okay. So, let okay. me just explain something. I actually filmed like three different apps at a time to film my videos. Last night, I was trying to film everything on Snapchat. So, whenever I recorded, whatever I recorded, um, I wasn't going to just sit there and record it because... I was running for my life, okay? And I'm not trying to be funny about this. Um, literally, I- It might I, be something too, serious, though. Like, I mean, opened his door mid-drive and vomited. I don't know if it was because I was genuinely terrified or if it was because I was running so much, but I, yeah, I, I did. But I did manage to screenshot what was under that bridge and enhance it for you guys. Oh my gosh. And I'll, I'll show you that. <laughs> yeah, um, let me just tell you, I've never been more terrified my entire life. I can't even look at this picture right Literally, now. Literally, my heart jumped out of my chest. saying that it was like a friend or like somebody else down there. Mm. It may have been a homeless guy. I, I heard that. That's too. what I said. It may have been some sort I of like not know what naked homeless guy. Down there, butt naked. Maybe taking a bath. Oh my gosh, taking a bath. Sounds and everything about it just did not sit right with me. Now, so after like many that. requests, or some might say dares, from his viewers, Isaiah and his cousin Brock decide to go back to Casper Mountain and spend the entire night camping out in the spooky woods. It might be just Casper the Friendly Ghost, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so we're doing it. We got the four-wheeler in the back, tents, and a hammock that I brought. Because they're, they're staying overnight. We're up here. <laughs> So we're gonna spend the entire night. Okay. <laughs> oh 
Okay, that's actually kind of creepy. Like, hope he doesn't jump out to scare me. Rock, what please don't scare me. Home? Oh my goodness. So, <laughs> he's got this terrible lighting. You know where we are? Dude, oh hell no. Oh hell no. Other than some creepy footsteps, Isaiah and Brock don't really capture much of anything that night. Or at least, that's what they thought. Oh my god. Because, did you see it? See you know where we are? what? Right after they hear footsteps, someone or something can be seen running through the trees, hiding in the dark. So, Isaiah and many of his viewers believe that some kind of strange creature is living on Casper Mountain. Some even believe this thing to be a skinwalker or a rake. But who or what do you think this is? Let me know down in the comments. What waits at the window? Oh my One God. Natalia Valente, along with her mother and a few These friends, like set out to videos. explore the abandoned Cesario Mota Asylum in Piracicaba, Brazil. The oh, Mota Brazil. Asylum was built in 1973 and served as an institution for patients Brazil with severe can be a creepy or place. violent mental disorders. After many rumors of tragic patient deaths inside the hospital, the asylum was eventually forced to close in the 1990s. Abandoned now, asylum. it's 30 years later, and the property is said to be extremely haunted, especially the so-called pink wing of the asylum. Pink the pink wing. wing is on the second floor and is said to be where mentally disturbed children were held. A gente vai entrar, já chegamos. I'm generally freaked out. When Natalia and her group explore the Mota Asylum's pink wing, strange things start to happen. Oh, my God. Jura for Deus, Jura. We're not being messed around. This is nothing to be messed with. The group hears a loud bang that startles Natalia, but they have no idea that they just captured something even more terrifying. Watch closely as they explore just outside the asylum's pink wing. Okay, peek out the window. What? Did you see it? Up what in the window, in... three children can be seen watching the group as they walk around I'm the property. Massive Again, creepiest of all is that the young boys we see are actually standing in the windows of the haunted asylum Pink Wing, the area where disturbed children were kept 30 years ago. So could it be that these children are the spirits of patients who lost their lives inside the asylum? And if not, just who are these boys? Let me know what you- Oh, that is crazy. They might just- Oh my gosh. They might just be some like homeless people or like homeless kids just using the building. And it's just what happened when they captured her and they panned their camera up there. They were there. So it just seemed very put together. I don't know. It just might be some homeless people or- I really don't know. It's just started me. It's creeped me out. Oh, brother. The haunting of Jim Barari. <sighs> TikToker Jim Barari lives in a historic 1700s Pennsylvania colonial home along with her wife Heather and six-year-old daughter Ray. Aww. Now Jen and her family might seem familiar as I featured their story on my channel before. Which one? You see, after the family started making some much needed renovations on their historic property, strange unexplained events began to terrorize them night and day. Oh, this one. Yeah, I saw this. This is crazy. Can you stop? Ow! Good heavens. Hey, what's going on? Baby. What's up, baby? I don't know. And my reflection's creeping in here. Ow. Yeah. 
Jesus Christ. And there's no one there. Jesus Christ. You guys saw that, right? I'm not bugging. Like, here's my reflection. There's something. It looks like the old man is coming out, I swear to God. Heck what the no. F was that? Heck After no. doing some research, Jen found out that as many as five people have lost their lives on their property. Well, that explains Jen was skeptical it. at first, a lot. but she now believes that their beautiful countryside home is haunted by the frightening spirits of those who have lived there before. Maybe like and a since I family. last featured Jim Barari's story, the strange supernatural activity still continues. One evening as the sun sets, Jen is loading up her car to go on a trip when she suddenly hears something that shocks her to her core. And the light just went on in there and also in there. Okay. Oh. Holy f Did you guys f hear that? That was kind of crazy. It's giving me massive chills. And this, what else? Oh my god. My heart is racing. Oh my god. Oh, what the freak? Can you please do that again? Okay. She's like, okay. Please. I'm gonna count so you guys know it's not me. He's well, there you go. An eerie female voice can be heard saying, help and leave. But that's not all that Jen captured in this bizarre bit of paranormal evidence. So again, I ask you, did you see it? Inside the small window at the top of the old barn, two unexplained odd pale hands wondering what can those be seen. Were. Though Jen didn't notice at the time, multiple TikTok viewers pointed out the creepy sighting. Jen is in disbelief. Those she claims that hands. she has no idea whose hands these could be, as like there was no Lillian. one inside the Just barn. Like Another night, and Jen hears an odd sound outside. She grabs her phone and records as she goes outdoors to check it out. The noise is coming from her daughter's swing set, but there's nothing there. At least, it seems that way because a CCTV camera mounted outside captures something truly terrifying. Oh, well, what now? A swing? Just violently swinging. What? Hey, yo. And... And she captures nothing on her cam. Jen can't see anything there, and likewise her phone captures nothing but the screen right. set swaying back and forth. However, her CCTV's night vision camera reveals a bizarre <laughs> female figure Full with body long chills. dark hair standing directly in front of Jen. She honestly don't want them on their property. Her. It was probably the family's house that passed away. They just don't want them in their property. It's a good thing they're not attaching themselves. The railway to nowhere. Okay. YouTube gamer and urban explorer Mr. Omega often goes on overnight challenges to explore abandoned and spooky places in his country of New Zealand. Rock on. This time he plans to stay overnight in the deserted Spooner's Tunnel, an old train pass that was dug out of the mountain by hand back in 1891. Unfortunately, the railway line suffered financial difficulties and the tunnel was never connected to the railway system. The tunnel was eventually closed and dismantled back in 1955. The passageway was dubbed, quote, the railway to nowhere. YouTuber Mr. Omega decides that the creepy old abandoned tunnel is the perfect spot to film an overnight challenge. Okay, here we are here. The only person I have with me is Max. Oh, baby dog. You know, man's best friend and everything. Oh man, look at that. 100%. Okay, before we even go into the tunnel, as you can see, it's totally pitch black. Uh, it's too dark to go in there without any form or source of light. This is my it's massive nice dolphin torch. torch. Uh, it's a really good torch, as you can see. To set up camp for the night. Inside the tunnel. I managed to secure myself a place to uh, stay for the night. And as you can see, out here, 
it is totally dark now. It's, the sun's gone right down. There's no more light left. If I turn my light off now, this, this is the freaky thing. When I turn this light off, it is totally pitch black and silent. You ready? Here we go. Good heavens. Wow. That's just, that's spoopy, if you ask me. I feel good having the dog here. Where are you, Max? Max, there you are, there he is. I feel better having my dog with me. I mean, obviously, if I didn't have Max, it'd be a little bit creepy. Obviously, Urgh. I feel like safer with my dog. Um, Around 4 a.m., things start to get really weird. Okay. Omega discovers that he has no cell reception inside the tunnel. And so, along with dog Max, he heads back to the opening to check his phone. After that, he starts to trek back inside the tunnel. And then, this happens. I hear some sort of chew now. Max, come here. Come here. Can you go? Can you see that? What is that? Max, where is it? I don't know if you guys can hear this on the camera, but something. What is that? What? What the? Heck no. No children better be down there playing ghosty ghost with you guys. You know? No, no. Not my cup of tea. Hello? Max, what is that? Hello? Is there Someone's here? messing with you, probably. This is creepy as. What the hell? Is anyone here? People are more scarier than ghosts. What is that? A hundred percent. My. A creepy little toy is just lying <sighs> in the middle of the path, playing a warbly rendition of I'm Happy about Birthday. To cry. Oh my God. Omega turns around and is shocked out of his skin as he sees a man lurching toward him out of a crevice in the tunnel wall. He just makes a run for it. Now, Mr. Omega says that he is absolutely stunned by what happened. He has <sighs> no idea Same why here. anyone would be hiding in the cold abandoned train tunnel at 4 a.m. Might be living there? because the tunnel is in the middle of nowhere, miles away from any house. Another truly baffling part Homeless. of this incident is that the dog Max did not react at all to the creepy stranger. Oh Almost gosh, like the man crazy. was not even there. And perhaps most disturbing of all, why did whoever this was set out a creepy little toy in the path? Either way, paranormal or not, this encounter is absolutely I am in awe. terrifying. You can watch Heck the entire no. exploration as one door closes. This next video was posted to YouTube Another over 12 open. years ago by an anonymous YouTube account. The video was filmed by David Ortiz, the custodian of Sawyer Elementary School in Chicago, Illinois. I'm with Evelyn Stem. We're using this recording here uh, due to a statement. She says that there's been things in the back area that have been... All right, explain to us. I wouldn't either. Evelyn. I mean, if I was curious, sure. Well, I'm here. I'm here now. I'll don't worry. Then. All right. What? So what happened? There's all this shit on this office. All right. All right. Hang on. Hang on. Just wait. Let me take a look. Now you say what happened now? This door shit by itself. All right. Let me see. I'm looking, but I'm not going back there either. <laughs> well, you I'm not going back here. I, I, I'm still got a funny feeling about this. Okay, I'm back here. I don't think I want to go there. Come on, come on, go ahead. Oh, Everyone, just go. No, no, no. You go. Uh, don't I'm force her. Right here. I see the door. All right, go get your stuff. I'm right here. Don't be. Hold on, wait a minute. Just wait. Is there anybody back here? Go ahead. No. What the? Oh my. 
pulled her, oh guys. Oh, wow. No way. No way. Oh, I saw that. Some crazy poltergeist. Now, after this video was posted to YouTube, many former students of Sawyer Elementary came forward to say that they too had experienced paranormal activity while attending school. It might be just school. school. The school is anyway, probably haunted. So I guess I don't have to ask. Did you see it? Because <laughs> we all saw it, bro. Like the school I went to for elementary. Sawyer Elementary School. Major haunted. haunted, bro. As always, you decide. So, I feel Pitch for these people. Black. Reddit user Notel411 claims that his aunt and her family were on vacation and he was house sitting for them. Then, one night, he spots something on her child's nanny cam that makes his blood run cold. CCTV footages are if genuine. I'm seen or tripping, but check this out. Checking out. That'd be jump scare. So this is my aunt's son's room. Okay, every doll right. is in... There's no one in here. Alright. Alright. Nothing. Oh, bro. Closet. Oh my gosh, you're running me, popping out. No, no jump scares, please. Nothing. Get out of the room now. Nanny cam are in here. Go out of the room now. Okay. Interesting uh, tiles you got, bro. Interesting right tiles. Right on the monitor here. Tell me that doesn't look like someone standing in the room. Like. Huh. Yeah. Like I've I've checked like went back and forth three times and I hmm. <sighs> better not be standing in there right now. So okay, nothing, right? What? The uh, sh shadow? Huh? I'm just anticipating on like jump scares uh, or anything. It might be just like a shadow uh, or like the light. Okay, I saw a ball in playing the room tricks. Room mm hmm. Okay, alright. There is definitely something in there. I. I. What? Crazy. The Lady of the Lake. Paranormal investigators Casey and Colton from the YouTube channel Mind Seed TV set out to investigate an allegedly haunted lake house in southern Georgia. The property belongs to an older couple who claims that an evil presence is making their lives a living hell. Now the backstory is that the home's previous residents were a young couple who were having serious marital problems. The wife had an affair and it is believed that the husband discovered her indiscretion. Very suspiciously, one day, the wife just disappeared. After weeks of searching, the woman's drowned body was found in the lake near the home. My the current the owners say that they husband. have experienced everything from objects moving on their own to doors slamming in the middle of the night. To make things even more disturbing, every time something unexplainable happens, they seem to find insects, frogs, and even snakes by the dozens inside their small home. It might be something satanic. Mind scene team Casey and Colton are invited something to spend the night at the property to, to investigate. Or cursed. When She's probably cursed. The house, it doesn't take long before something happens that they simply can't explain. Wherever your presence is, you can talk to us. Scan. Scan. Scan, like scan the bathroom. Maybe scan the house. Maybe. Yeah, probably. A scan the place. They're, pro they're using the obelisk. What is it actually asking us to scan right now? Oh. Oh. Something broke, and the chair. And the chair moved. Poltergeist. The chair just... 
actually asking us to scan right now. Oh. Happened. Something broke and the chair just moved. Oh my God. Yep, we got glass in here. And the chair that moved? There's glass everywhere in here. That chair. That was it. Something's satanic, it has to be. A chair slides across the floor and a wine glass falls and shatters. But what makes it even creepier is that they suddenly find roaches everywhere in the kitchen. Now, a little freaked out by what just happened, the Mindseed TV guys decide to go outside to do a spirit box session inside a barn that is very near the lake. What happens in the barn shocks them to their core. They're probably spoke to the lady. Violent movement. Water splash. Water. Casey asks whether they are communicating with the woman that was found in the lake. Probably and her. all She's... hell breaks loose as the entire barn begins to shake, sending the investigators running for safety. She's Just so then, angry. They hear there a loud is. sound. Something is sloshing around in the lake. For their final investigation, they decide to use a Ouija board to attempt to contact the spirit of the drowned woman. They set up their board and equipment on a dock right next to the lake. It did not go well. Is there more than one of you here? Can you give us an initial? Can you give us your name? Can you give us anything? The two investigators are absolutely oh horrified as they see the face of a woman emerge from the water. Casey claims that he could clearly see eyes and dark wet hair before the two guys just made a run for it. It's the Little Mermaid. The Mind Seed TV team says that they've never experienced anything like what the happened siren. that night. Oh, my, my head is throbbing. My hairs are standing. My heart is still out of my chest. Okay, so that was Nuke's Top 5's newest release. Top 5 scary ghost videos for nightmares. And apparently I might be having nightmares. Those were some 5. Well, except for the first one. Those were like a compilation of crazy, creepy TikTok videos. Plus 4. So, it's Top 5. And yeah, those were some creepy ones. The first one though got to me. That just... That's when my heart fell out of my chest. The last one, the last video, the Lady of the Lake thing. I also checked here about insects found in their house. And those are actually like common demonic insects. And examples are bats, bees, beetles, cockroaches, dragonflies, mosquitoes, and moths. If there's like a bunch of them, it might be something satanic. It might be something demonic. They might have done some really satanic rituals in that house or something to that person who passed away, which was the Lady of the Lake. And uh, the video with the Spooners Tunnel, where the guy and the dog stay there overnight, uh, camped out overnight, and they found this toy playing a sound. And when he looked back, he saw a man there. I'm like, man, he probably was just some homeless guy living there, but why live in a tunnel in the middle of nowhere and have a bunch of toys with him to put out probably to scare like explorers it's just kind of weird and in the haunted asylum in brazil the one with the pink wing as they say it was the haunted area and then they found like three kids up in the window just peeking out it might just be like a coincidence that when their camera panned to that window and those three homeless kids or homeless children peeking out checking out what they're doing or it might be something you know haunted paranormal so yeah anyway with that being said nuke stop five never fails this was some like crazy creepy bunch top five these are like actually a top five 
crazy, creepy videos, scary videos. And yeah, if you guys haven't yet, please do subscribe and click that notification bell so you know that every time I post a brand new video, follow me on Instagram because why not? And uh, if you guys have any video suggestions, please comment them down. Give this video a thumbs up to help your girl out. Some more haunted videos coming. See you guys in the next video. Bye.